All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to look at comparing and ordering decimals. Our objective is that every student will be able to develop a better understanding of place value and be able to compare and order decimals. So let's take a look at our first example. When we're examining place value and we look at the 4 in this example, we have to think about what its place value is. In order to understand where its place value is, we have to first look at the decimal. Here's the decimal. One place to the left of the decimal, we have the ones place. And if you go over another place value, it is the tens place. And yet another would be the hundreds, and so on. Now, if you go to the right of the decimal, we have to understand that each value, like this number 6 here, to the right is a, a lower amount than the values to the left. Uh, this is actually less than 1, the 6 tenths, and this is the tenths place. Notice the TH ending. And behind that, the 7 is in the hundredths place. The 5 is the thousandths place. And the 1, the ten thousandths. And it could keep going as well, hundred thousandths, and then the millionths, and so on. Now, looking at examples, when we're comparing and ordering two decimals, the first thing we want to do is try to line up the decimal. So here we can see the decimal on both of these numbers. Once we have them lined up, then we're going to start with the digit that's farthest to the left. Neither of these numbers have anything in the hundreds place value. However, we notice that they both have a 5 in the tens place. Since it's the same, we're going to move on to the next digit. And we're working from left to right, so I'm going to put a check mark and move on to the next. Again, we have the same in the ones place. So again, I'm going to put a check mark here and move one more to the right. The three is also the same and in the tenths place. Check and move to the next digit. Here we have a difference. In the hundredths place, on the bottom number, the one is greater than the zero in the top number. So the number on the bottom is greater than the number on the top. We don't need to go on to the next place value since we already found that the hundredths is larger in the bottom number. It doesn't matter what the thousandths or ten thousandths place, places hold. Let's move on to our next example. Here are a few sample problems. First, when we're comparing and ordering using greater than, less than, or equal to, we should know that if you imagine an alligator or crocodile mouth, it's going to eat the larger number. Now, to compare decimals, we want to make sure that we line up our decimals. So here I have one uh, arrow pointing at a decimal, and here's an arrow pointing at the decimal. So once our decimals are lined up for these two numbers, then I can properly compare. Looking at the place value, the tens place here, that one's the same. So I move on to the next place value, working from left to right. This top number has a 6. The bottom number has a 5 in the ones place. So the top number is actually greater than the bottom number. On our next example, we have 78 9 tenths and 78 and 76 hundredths. This is a little bit more challenging because now one of the numbers actually has more digits in it. But does that really mean that it's greater or less? If I line up the decimals again, I notice the tens is the same, the ones is the same, and here we come around come to an issue. Which one do you think is the greater number? This bottom number has more digits. But the top number has a larger digit. If you guess the top number, you are correct. 78 and 9 tenths is greater than 78 and 76 hundredths. What we can do to make this a little easier, once you have the decimal the decimal in both numbers lined up, 
you can actually put a zero in here without changing the value. And now we can see that it has the same number of place values, uh, but we will still work from left to right just as if they were two regular numbers. The next one, another misconception that we have is that a larger number or a number with more digits is going to be greater than the other number. If we look at these examples, once I line up the decimals, I can see that the top number has much more places to the left of the decimal than the bottom number. It actually goes all the way to the hundreds place. If I were to put zeros in on my bottom number, we could compare, and I know that the place value of the hundreds place is worth zero for the bottom number, whereas the top number has a one in the hundreds place. So the top number is greater. Moving on to our next page. If we had to order from least to greatest, what's the first step that we should do? If you said line up the decimals, you're absolutely correct. So let's go ahead and line these decimals up. I'm going to line all these numbers to where their decimals are lined up. Okay. And the last one right up here. Now I want the least to be on top. And I want the greatest to be on bottom. So I'm going to look farthest to the left to find the largest number. Here are two of them that have a 7, and then an 8, then I'm going to move on to the tenths place. 78 and 6 tenths is the larger of those numbers, so this one will go on the bottom. Then this one is the second largest. Now I'm comparing the top two. 17 we can see has a 1 in the tens place, and the top number has a 0 if I fill in the 0. So 17 is greater than 7. So I will move that number next, and now I should have them from least to greatest. 7 and 814 thousandths will be the lowest number, and 78 and six tenths will be the largest number. Well, I hope this helped you out, and good luck with your math.